hello everybody and welcome back to the channel so today's video is going to be a continuation of that video that we created last week so if you haven't seen this tutorial please go ahead and then check it out it's on my channel so this video is going to be the sewing tutorial of that very video so for the yards i am using or for the fabric i'm using first of all i'm using a cotton 100 percent cotton fabric so i'm using this because this is what i have laying around so if you do not have this type of fabric ideally you should be making use of either a crepe fabric or a lycra fabric or poly soft poly fabric that's what you should be using all right so if you don't have any of that you can go ahead and then you follow me and then use what i'm using so the yards i'm using here is one yard and half um inches that's one and a half yard of a fabric now aside from that i'm also i'm going to be using a bias to do this also to work on this fabric and i ended up using a full two and a half yards sorry a full two and a half roll of bias on this very um, style so just go ahead and then get that and then you're going to be having a warden and also your lining so with that being said then let's get into the video So at this point i finished cutting out the pieces with my pattern and also i also cut out the wording with the cup also the cup pattern also and also please after cutting this don't forget to leave out 0 0.5 inches here all right so you can have what to use and put them together and also each of the fabric i ended up cutting two of them so as you can see the center front is double the side front is also double and also the cup part is also double with the same fabric and also the back also is also double i didn't want to use a lining on this so i just had to go ahead and then cut this out the way i'm seeing it so you can always use a lining now let's move forward so right now i'm going to go ahead and then sew this down using my sewing machine so since i don't have a zigzag machine i'm just going to place it at, the, at this point like this and then sew this down here at the center and also sew this here using zero point two or zero point three inches i'm going to do the same thing to both sides now this is it i finished sewing even the the covering for the cup also and now this covering here is double so during the process don't forget to always align them together because you have the side that is meant to go towards the armhole which is this other end and also this side is supposed to go to the center front so please note the differences the next thing i'm going to do is to join the center front and the side front together so i'm just going to open this other one up and then place it over like this then i'm just going to go ahead and then sew it down at this point and i'm also going to do the same thing to the other side then i also proceed to do the same thing also to the back at this point i'm done and then i'm placing the both fabrics wrong side facing each other because we're going to go ahead to attach the cup to this now what I'm, what I'm doing here is just to go ahead and then identify the part that is meant for the armhole and then just go ahead and then align them together so what i'm going to do now is for us to just go ahead and then mark out the lines that you're going to be using to create the designs so i have to do this first so that we would not make mistakes so coming in with my ruler this is what i'm going to do now first of all i'm going to find the midpoint here at the center front now using my pencil i'm just going to make a mark at this point here now what i'm going to do next is to come in with my ruler and then start from that part make sure to align the ruler correctly so that uh, this thing can stay at the center and then i'm just going to go ahead and then roll a line with the pencil so whatever it is that you're using to roll this line please and please be sure that the stuff you're using to roll the line is washable or cleanable all right don't use something that's going to be permanent on your fabric all right so now moving on we are going to go ahead and then mark out the ones closer to the under bust now the first line on the under bust is going to be a little bit slanted so as you can see i'm moving it down towards the front part and it's not following the actual joining that we did there so you can just go ahead and then do the same thing so with this now we don't have any measurement doing this i'm just eyeballing this whole thing all right because you can definitely do yours and it might come out very nice than mine so now 
the second one i'm going to be ruling out is actually going to be directly on the dart right now okay but i'm still going to do that in a slant form but it's actually going to be on the dart not outside the dart all right so we, now we are going to go ahead to create the ones on the bust cup now so once we bring in the bust cup like this I'm going to try again to align and make sure that this line here goes directly on the line that we use to join the different parts of the cup together. So that's what this first line, that's really this very first line is going to align. So I'm just trying possibly best to make sure that it aligns with that particular line. Now the next one is going to come in front of that line as before that very particular one, all right? So that line now, it shouldn't be bigger than the other one, like the one on the main fabric. It should just be like, let's say, 0 0.5 to 0 0.6 inches, right? And I'm just eyeballing it. So like, as you can see, this is how it's looking. Now this one goes through this very one, and this one goes through the other part. Now you're going to do the same thing to the other side. So this is how it's looking like so far. And I'm going to go ahead to start putting on the bias on top of this. All right so that's what i'm going to go ahead to do next now after sewing on the bias on top of it this is what it's looking like so far now once you place the cups each of the cups on it be sure that it's definitely aligning with each other all right so that is just it as for the cups i had to come back and show you guys this one so before you go ahead to place your bias tape on top of the cup cover Please be sure, like, be sure to bring in the cups and then place the cups at the center and then sew it down. Use a straight line to attach the cup and the cup cover, all right? Especially on the line that we've already sewn down on the center here. Just go ahead and then sew it down on the center before you go ahead to use your bias to cover up that part so that once you finish you're going to be having something that looks like this as you can see it's already looking very nice and it's already copying all right so what we're going to do next is for us to go ahead and then attach this together so don't forget this part is for the armhole while the other side is for the um, center front so always be sure to align then go ahead and then place the two bias together like this and then sew them all the way around so if you cannot do this freely just go ahead and then pin them down first of all and make sure that it aligns most especially where you have the two bias lined up so that you can go ahead and then make it come out looking neat so just go ahead and do that to the two of them then you're going to also go ahead and then sew in the lining and then also sew the cup in for the lining too now this is what it's looking like so far once i've done i'm um, doing that the next thing i'm going to go ahead to do now is to bring in my bias tape to this other area now now we are going to use the bias tape to cover around this part because if you can if, if you see on the style it has that very particular thing too so i'm just going to go ahead and then do this the next thing i'm going to do now is to go ahead and then cover this up as in place the lining and also the main fabric together just to seal everything up so take notes guys because in covering this you're going to be placing both the front and the back piece together like this so i put the front and the lining together like this wrong side facing each other the reason why we are doing this is because you're going to go ahead and then use a bias tape to line around this area like this so to keep this safe you can always go ahead and then run a basting stitch or just run a loose stitch on top of it so that I can um, place them together. If I can now go ahead and then use your bias tape to run on top of it like this, right? That's what I'm going to be doing right now. Once that is done, this is what I'm going to do next. You're going to move ahead to the center front of the skirt because this part is very, very delicate. So you're just going to go ahead and then do the two of them together if I can now proceed to the back. So with the center front now, you're going to just open this up and then you're going to go ahead to pick our darts that's the first thing you are going to do before you now proceed now once the, the, the dart has been taken in now it's time for the main um thing now you're going to align the top part with it to, to, together like this then from the center front you're going to draw a straight line downwards just to align with what we already have on the on the top part 
now what i'm going to go ahead to do is this so if you see on the picture the image has some curves around the down part of the skirt so that's what you're doing right now so just go ahead to use your ruler to at least align the top part with the down part also okay so that's what i'm going to be doing here so i'm not going to roll this line down to the end i'm just using this to align also bring down what we have on top of it now i'm just going to be eyeballing this okay so since it has a curve i'm just using my pencil to try to make that curve at this area so if you have a curve ruler this would be very very interesting just go ahead and then use your curve ruler to draw a curve at this area but be sure that all the curves starts at the end of your darts all right the straight line should come down to where you have the darts and then it sh the curve should start or should begin from the down part the last part that you stopped um holding the darts just like what you can see now so i'm starting from here now to apply my curve from this area so that's what i'm going to be doing on the two lines so there are no measurements for this just go ahead and then do what works your both okay what you know you're comfortable with just go ahead and use your eyes and then just look at it and make sure that it's something that you like and it's something that you're comfortable in now let's move ahead to um printing out the other parts what we saw on this style so on using the first line here the first curve you're going to come down to under the dots here where we started the curve and then just draw a line down like this just go ahead and create a v at this area but that v should start from the very first curve that we have on top and also where the curve began okay that's at the down part of your of the dots now coming down here to the second v that you're going to draw also you know we are having this that is you thing here so this is what you're going this is where you're going to start from so just go ahead and then use your eyeball to just align it properly and then go ahead and then draw a straight line from this part here down the next thing you're also going to do is to go ahead and do the same thing to the other part so this other side here now we have a curve down here too so where you, that very point that you noticed the curve like the main deepened part of the curve is where you're going to draw this line so that's just it so once you do go ahead and draw this down the design is literally ready now and the next thing for us to do is for us to go ahead and then draw this other one that comes over like this now here is a trick in drawing the one that comes over like this in drawing that very particular curve what you're going to do now is to make sure that the curve that comes from your hip line is going to go ahead to pass through here so now i just noticed that mine here was too high so that's why i'm bringing it down a bit now you're not going to be using this line that's on top of this part anymore you're going to be using the second one here so now just watch how i'm going to go ahead to draft out the curve by this side so you can also start your own curve from where you have the end part of your darts all right so you don't make mistakes so right now as you can see now the curve coming down okay i had to take it up so the curve coming down here is is actually passing through the edge of that very line that we drew so just, just keep looking at what i'm doing now we are going to draw a line from this place down so once you've gotten the curve the next thing is for you to just draw a straight line but then draw it like a straight line draw it like you, you want to play uh, like you want to cut out a v all right towards the center front that's what you're going to do so once you go ahead to do that it's going to bring everything towards the front towards the center all right so right now what i'm doing here now is just to go ahead and then align where the curve starts and uh, started from on the other side so i can also go ahead and do the same thing to this other side that's just it no basic measurement so right now i'm just drawing the curve with this down to that line that we drew to this line here and then i'm, not, I'm just going to go ahead to use my ruler and then make a straight line a straight curve line down a slant line not curve rather sorry a straight slant line down to the end of the skirt so that's just basically what i'm doing here so once you're done with that your design is literally very ready okay so that's just it so now i'm going to go ahead to insert the bias on this now what's uh, the direction in which i'm going to start now i'm going to start from here the first v here the second one and then the next one i'm going to do is to go ahead and then place the one that is here the next one i'm going to do is to place the bias tapes here and then lastly 
I'll place these ones here. Now, the, there is a reason why I'm doing this, all right? The reason why I'm doing that is because so that the sharp edge, the rough edges can also be hidden during this process. So once you do this, you understand why I did it this way. So that's just it. So this is how it's looking so far. And as you can see, it's coming out very, very neat. And please don't forget, this is this still the part that we left out that we didn't want to use. So I had to bring it out so you guys can see it properly. Now it's time for us to go ahead and then attach the top part down with the skirt area. Now make sure to align them very well properly. Then place it over like this and then go ahead to use the half inch that we inserted on the pattern and then close this part together. Now once you're done, open it up like this and then bring in your bias tape towards the center, um, the waistline and then run it over like this. Now, what I'm, why we did this is very, very important because the front part is very delicate. So you have to just finish it up. Now, moving over to the back piece. Now, we are going to go ahead to insert our dart here. So after inserting our dart, what you're going to do now is to go ahead to use the bias tape to run on top of this other part. Now, once you do that, the back part is literally ready. So let's move over to the down part of the skirt. Now, coming over to the down part of the skirt, that's at the back, we are going to also go ahead to insert our dart. So once you are done inserting the dart, now let's go ahead to create the design for the back. Now, every design is going to start from that point down, okay, just like how it started from the front. So I'm going to go ahead to just rule a line here. So that line is going to go ahead to connect with this. And this one is going to come out like this. I hope you guys get the picture. So now this is what I'm going to go ahead to do. Now on this part now, I'm ruling out some lines here to be able to know when it's going to be aligning there. So now I'm just going to go ahead to start from this part here. That's a, bit, a little bit close to the um the that. Now I'm going to just go ahead and draw a line, straight, straight line, and then I'm going to go ahead to rule that curve down to where the other line was. Okay. So now just go, just look at what I'm doing. As you can see, the curves are actually coming out very well. So there's no big deal in this. Just go ahead and then eyeball it the way you want it. If you don't want it, go ahead and then erase the lines out and then start it again. But be sure to use something that is cleanable, something that you can always clean out, all right? Or something that when you wash your out, the fabric is going to go out. That is just what I'm going to be advising you on this. Don't go ahead to use something that is making it or make it permanent. Please oh, don't do that on your fabric. <laughs> okay, so moving over to this other part now. I'm just going to be following the way this one is, okay? I'm just going to go ahead and follow it out. As you're drawing it, you are actually understanding because you're seeing what you are doing. So just go ahead and then draw this out and then roll a straight line. Roll a straight line down to the down part of the skirt. So once you once once you do that, the design for the back is literally complete. Okay, so as you can see me doing now, I'm still playing around with this. Okay, so that I can literally understand that the, some of some of this part here has to align properly. So now that I'm done and I'm satisfied with it, I'm just going to go ahead and do the same things with the other side. Okay, so also place the other side the same way and then go ahead to draw it out. Now I'm going to be using my bias tape to place on top of it and then just go ahead to do this and that is it. So this is it on this other side. So um, this is what the design is looking like so far. So after placing the bias on it, this is what it's going to be looking like. All right, so now let's move ahead. Now I'm going to ahead to also attach the top part to the skirt region also on the waistline. So what I'm going to do now is to go ahead and then insert my zip. But before then, I'm going to go ahead to use the bias tape to run over the waistline like this, right? Just run over this part, just like how the front is, before inserting our zip here. So once that is done, this is what it's looking like so far. So please be sure that your color of um, zip is also the same color that you're using for the bias so that it can literally go in very well. So as you can see now at the center, that's as if I used a bias at the center of the gown of the back but then that's my zip there okay so just go ahead to make sure it aligns so the next thing i'm going to do now is to go ahead and then insert these these traps so this trap now i see ended up using a bias tip to create this trap so for the strap now you're going to make sure that you you double them okay make sure you double the 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 bias tip all right don't like don't fold it in well i don't know how to explain but just go ahead to make sure that it's just a single 
biaste but then double it very well so they can be stronger now go ahead and place them like this at the other end and then sew it down have to measure from your bust region okay from where your blouse stopped down to the back so you know how the length of your own strap then what you're going to do now is to go ahead and bring in the front part um then what you're going to do next now is for us to go ahead and then sew this place down all right just simple at that point the next thing is just for us to go ahead and then use our um, seam allowance what we inserted and then just sew it down like this to the end now after you are done doing that your gown is ready just go ahead and then hem around this part but on my own i ended up using my bias tape to run around the down part okay just to give it that even look i didn't end up i didn't bend it i just ended up using my bias tape to run it over and it actually came out really really nice so yeah guys you can actually decide to do that or you can actually decide to go ahead to just um bend it it's all your choice so once you're done you should have something that looks like this oh my god this is so beautiful <laughs> <laughs> i'm feeling myself like i love i love 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 this it's very beautiful and the color is also giving it's beautiful i love it so 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 much ah, i think i'm going to be rocking this to work tomorrow all right guys so that's just it please let me know your thoughts in the comment section please give me a thumbs up in this video if you love it please share this video to other people to also follow and learn how to make this beautiful ah simple gown please thank you so much guys for all those i've been sharing so far i love you guys you're the best thank you so much till next time bye guys